And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo's Monastery. We played this deck one time before, this is a while ago, a couple months ago. Uh, we called it Samurai Zoe at the time, but I kind of want to get Yasuo in the title instead, um, especially because we have the brand new skin for Yasuo that we haven't even used yet. And so that's what I wanted to do today here on Meme Tier Day is play a Yasuo deck. But we got Cosmic Zephyr Yasuo which is going to have its own unique uh, level up animation, which I haven't seen yet. So we should be able to level up Yasuo pretty easily in this deck. So we have to stun or recall five plus units. Well, we're gonna be playing, uh, combining it with Monastery Piranha. Round start, create the Sanctuary, a one mana recall. That's gonna make it, you know, fairly quickly to level up the Yasuo. We're also playing Steel Tempest and a Sleepy Trouble Bubble and Concussive Palm and the brand new Solari Sunhawk. Last time we played this deck, Solari Sunhawk hadn't been printed. This could be a card that you like Daybreak, Stun, and then put it back in your hand with Sanctuary, Daybreak, Stun, right? Like you already have the Concussive Palm that you can put back in your hand. And now we can kind of double that up where we got the Solari Sunhawk and the Concussive Palm where we can Stun, put back in our hand, keep Stunning every single round. Now you do have to like, you have to like Stun with the Sunhawk, you have to like Stun and then pick it up so that next round Daybreak, you can Stun again and then pick it up, right? You can't. You can't pick it up first and then try to stun because you have to daybreak stun. Um, let's see. Spacey Sketcher is honestly going to be an all-star in this deck. This is like... Spacey Sketcher is like one of the best cards to go along with Monastery of Piranha because you can either like discard Sanctuaries or it's a really cheap card to pick up and replay. It, it goes really well with um, the Monastery. So we're going to be doing that a bunch and getting a bunch of Invoke cards. And then we're also going to get Invoke cards from the Priestesses. We got... Uh, three Lunari Priestess, three Solari Priestess. Both of these also very good cards to um, create your Sanctuary, put back in hand, and get more invokes. So we're a real slow deck. We uh, invoke a whole bunch in the late game and stun some things um, and everything like that. And uh, so hopefully we don't get ran over. We could definitely get ran over by aggro. Um, at the top end, we got Triple Infinite Mind Splitter. That's going to be our card that we're going to use. To stun some enemies and the thing is like we can keep round start stunning enemies but then if yasuo kills them then we can pick infinite mind splitter back up with the monastery reset do it again um and just lock lock some stuff down all right so let's go ahead and get to it let's play some yasuo's monastery where's the star shaping it's hard to fit star shaping in with um having all the other uh Stun, you know, all of our cards are basically stun invoke, stun invoke, but yeah, there's like dr Dancing Droplet could definitely be in here, Star Shaping could definitely be in here. There's some options for the other cards for sure. Let's mulligan in these three. We'll keep Solari Priestess. I want to try to, you know, get out ahead a little bit earlier. Yeah, I mean, it's just one damage. I'll just pass. I don't really want to, like, attack and then they play something after combat, which I don't know really why they would. But with our deck, one one damage isn't that important. Okay, so let's just go ahead and Concussive Palm this. Yasuo is first done. Oh, maybe I should attack for one. Space Sketcher. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's me trading my two mana card for a three mana card. So that's not bad. And, you know, we got rid of that ability from the Merciless Hunter and everything like that. Alright, let's get this monastery going. Let me hear you call our Emperor's name! Jurimans, I have waited millennia to hear your cheers. I 
see every move. Where's Yasuo? Yes! Yasuo, let's go! Stand down. Okay. Let's recall the Tail of the Dragon. Yasuo is here. Because I couldn't play Yasuo and then Sunhawk either. Like, I couldn't play Yasuo and then one of them. Uh oh. So I leveled up his ear. So that's four out of five. So then this will be five. Okay, so it's only doing two damage still. Right? Or no, it's doing... Yeah, it's only doing the two damage. I should have just done this first. I got a double stun. Gotta find a gift for an action. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do this. We're going to start by double stun. I kind of want to just do this. I kind of get the Sunhawk in play. No, we need to do double stun. Okay. So we're going to recall first. No cure. Maybe I do have a future. Sweet. First time seeing a new Yasuo level up. Alright, do that first. Now double stun. We'll do five damage to each. Yasuo, owning up. Alright, let's see. And here's where I paint my constellation. Together, we are part of something more. Together, you are children of Shurima. Hmm. Kind of wish I would have just passed. And they pass also. So their Buried Sun Disc is at 8. That Azir is dead. New 8 power Azir. I'll just get Round Start stunned, or I could just go stun, stun. Um, I guess I'll just go stun. I guess I can't. I had to go daybreak, so I couldn't play the blade twirler first. But this is just just four mana, deal five. Oh no! Right indication. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, let's pick you back up. Underestimate. I dare you. I was gonna pick up the um, concussive pump back up, but wasn't able to do that. Indeed, and time has taught me even more. Here's our 
See you, Nessus. Dang, Yasuo is sweet. <laughs> yeah, Photic just concedes. They're just gonna keep on doing this. Monastery Yasuo, let's go. I will regain my honor. Yeah, Spacey Sketcher getting the double stun is definitely really sweet. Alright, so this is where we can die. They can just run us over, right? Like, this is gonna be the tough matchup. Um, all these cards look pretty good, right? Hush is awesome in this matchup, but I guess maybe we need a Mulligan Hush, but it's awesome in this matchup. We're definitely keeping these these three. Okay, we got a new donation deck from F59. We got... Um, the Emperor commands. The land copy that. Um, we're not going to have time for you, Infinite Mind Splitter, sorry. We got more Infinite Mind Splitters if we need them. Maybe I should have gotten the um, plus two, plus zero in Spell Shield for the Yasuo. Challenge dancing droplets. I'm gonna hold on to the serpent, not have them know about it. I because I want to kill like um, the the one mana one one or that grows the student or um, Aurelia. Should we go with the warrior? Warrior maybe challenges ear. Let's see, I won't have the attack token on round five. I'm playing Yasuo round four, so I won't have the attack token. No, maybe it's just Meteor Shower. Yeah, we're facing really a Zier over here in normals. It is unfortunate, but it happens. Death is like the wind, always by my side. The cliffs themselves are my barracks. My name echoes through every rock, every canyon. Life and death on the blade's edge. Oh. Really want to tra tra trade those with Doomkeeper, I don't think. Keep your distance. Okay. Alright, so I got, got some damage in on Azir so that maybe we can Meteor Shower. You know, kill Azir and kill Dancing Droplet. That'd be my plan. IDK if the plan will work. When rhythm takes hold, there is no time for fear. That just levels up his ear by itself. That's kind of broken. Kind of broken. Believe or burn. Really hope they don't have. A bounce spell, right? Really, really hope they don't have a bounce spell. Please work, please work, please work. Okay, good. That's big time. Kill him out of zero. Wow, no attacks? Why would you not attack with the Blossoming Blade? I don't know, but I'm, I'll take it. I ain't mad about that. Okay, so we need to find that. Doom, do, do, doom, do, do, doom, do, do, do. <laughs> no, uh, we need to find Equinox. 
Equinox this Marshall. Good thing they just used their homecoming. And so now our Zoe's at 2 out of 10. I just played the Zoe first before Lunari or anything just to get some other... Uh, just to start getting this level up for Zoe going. But this is kind of bad. I don't really have anything to do besides just play Lunari Freestus right now. I don't really want to discard another Steel Tempest. Maybe we got to. Sharima lives. Want to see these moves up close? Oh, you're interesting. Can I paint you? Gross. These are not cards that I wanted. How close are we to 10? Three turns away? It's one of these two. We're not taking the charger. Um... Still a few turns away from the Scourge. Guess it's probably just best to take Falling Comment. Okay, they're just passing. I gotta take the pass. You know, I could play the Charger right here, but I gotta take the pass. Alright, so we're at four. So assuming they want to play the Marshal, we'll have the Falling Comet for the Marshal. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. That's the thing with in this matchup with Equinox for Marshals, they have the you know the different recall cards that can put it back in their hand, and having like Inspirator in particular, that's not something you always see in these decks. So that was very good. That is number five for Zoe. We're halfway there. Not really sure why you'd bounce Yasuo instead of just bouncing Zoe. The wind. Now that's six out of ten for Zoe. But unfortunately, that second homecoming means they get to have this inspiring marshal which means that we are probably dead I alone decide my fate quick footwork fast right, so that's seven Don't let the fluffy tails fool you Yeah, we, we really didn't, uh, last game we showed, like, how great Yasuo is and everything. We really didn't show it this game. You are misguided. Oh, it's on. Here's 
So he's at eight. Maybe we can draw like a Solari Priestess that then gets an Evoke card and then that levels up. Infinite Mind Splitter is interesting. Life and death on the blade's edge. I really hope no Blade Dance cards. Yeah, I mean, their their reach is just like Blade Dance cards. They attack for, with a lot of things. Breathe. No Blade Dance. Love it. That's a great card. You can have all the ancient preparations you want. Have all of them you could ever desire. No, another Blade Dance card. Ugh. So that means I have to either have Yasuo or Zoe die. Gosh, that's the best Blade Dance card to have, too. So it's gotta be. It's gotta be Zoe, I guess. Yeah, it's gotta be Zoe. Dang. Just an open attack kills us. That was just the card I couldn't beat right there, was that Blossoming Blade. I guess if Infinite Mind Splitter was Yone, you know, Yone would have killed both of those immediately. They wouldn't have gotten the plus two, plus zero, and all those. Okay. Israel Renekton. I like seeing Renekton, right? Because Renekton usually means like just like a, a big unit that, um, like, our stuns are usually good against really big units. So I do like seeing that. I kind of think we're going to mulligan the Blade Twirler. We saw like that last game. Blade Twirler was pretty bad because it we weren't able to really enable it. But I guess I guess this time we got Sunhawk. All right, now I'll keep it. Yeah, I mean, they Yone and Mind Splitter, different times are going to be better than, than one another. Yone is better if you have a Yasuo in play, probably. But like when you don't, if you don't have a Yasuo in play, Mind Splitter can take over and like the Fury and everything. Like Mind Splitter can do a ton. Um, but yeah, there's there's times when you have Yasuo, and then also like Yone is an ability that can get denied, um, or Ride right Negation, where like Mind Splitter does and Mind Splitter just happens. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Yeah, that mo yeah we needed the monastery right to to snowball like you know yeah monastery. <laughs> it's. You wouldn't think it, but Monastery actually very important. Um, we don't really need to stun right now. I want to... I guess they're probably going to just kill my... Yeah, they probably just kill. I assume the Zoe dies. Yeah, Zoe dies. Because, you know, they're an Ezreal PNZ deck. They're going to have that removal. So instead, getting in another Blade Twirler. Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? And then planning on saving the three spell mana so that next round I can have um, Yasuo plus Wanna see these moves up close? Nature. Anyway, so I can have Yasuo plus Concussive Palm. Hmm. 
Mm. Wanted the double stun. I'll take Moon Glow. Love it. Good draw. Like Concussive Palm and, and uh, Steel Tempest. Very good. Don't you love the Bakai Reaper first? Gotta love it. I guess I'm discarding this hush. Oh no, I'm gonna just pass. If they wanna also pass and waste all their mana, that's fine with me. Alright, that's fine with me. Yeah, monastery. Monastery will level up our Yasuo and do a lot of work. Spilled paint is just accidental art. I'm hoping for the double stun card each time we do this. Like I want the double stun. All right, so we got we have a sanctuary messenger combo now. So that's another combo. Renekton, I found something special for you. If it bleeds, for you. It's cool. It's a good card. We'll get our legs then. Face your to do another 6 damage to me. Put me down to 10. Love it! Yes! Dude, that's a sweet animation. Dude, new Yasuo is really cool. Alright, so looking good. Um, patch notes will be tomorrow, if they're this week. They Patch notes are always released on Tuesdays and um, implemented on Wednesdays. I don't want to hush that Ezreal. I don't know. Ezreal can certainly burn us out. You know, a bunch of mystic shots and all that kind of stuff. The desert by my side. Three mana, but they do have a lot of discounted cards because of progress days. We saw that Dune Keeper just cost zero. I think that they want me to concussive palm, and then whenever I do, then they're going to use a bunch of burn spells afterwards, like in response.
in which case I may need to hush Ezreal. Alright, so that just does two damage to me. Alright, we'll hold on to Hush. Alright, so we're at seven. Hopefully they can't burn us to death. We know that's another champion. I hope it's a Renekton. I guess I'll hold on to this pill cascade. I don't have any like nexus healing or anything, or <laughs> no nexus healing, no denies or nopifies. So I can't just stop seven points of burn spells. That's just in their deck. I guess so. The golden sister can. So this leaves me with ten mana. So I'm not able to play Falling Comet if I want to, if I go Sanctuary, Tail of the Dragon, and cast Concussive Palm, then I'd have five mana left. Bask in her radiant blessing. Yeah, Tarkon deck without healing and an Ionia deck without denies. We're a crazy deck over here. So yeah, maybe there should be star shapings in here, especially like I could definitely see like the Pale Cascades haven't really seemed that necessary. So, you know, you want to play uh, star shaping instead of pale cascade. That that honestly could be a, a good change, to be honest. Like that could be better. That could be an upgrade. And that'll do. Can't handle the concussive bomb. All right, GGs. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and make that one little change. We're going to go ahead and take out Pill Cascade and put in Star Shaping, and I'll update the decklist command for that. Um, but yeah, let's we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll get some Star Shapings in here. So like you know, we play against you know the Aurelia Zero player, you know like your aggro player that gets our life total down. We have a little bit of Nexus healing. Whoa, that's a lot of chips. Zed, Jinx, Shen, Victor, a couple Ionia, a couple PNZ. All right, so yeah, so we got new, um, took out Pale Cascade, put in Star Shaping. That's going to be for the late game. Let's keep the Priestess. I kind of want to keep Sketcher, but let's just keep the Priestess. Look for Yasuo, Zoe, Monastery. All right, we're going to be building up our spell mana. I got Sketcher a Sketcher. That'd be pretty sketchy play, but we could do that. Monastery. The dark beckons. Good. Not not Zed. I was definitely worried they'd play Zed here, because I didn't have a good plan against Zed. I'm going to go with Lunari to start with. <laughs> Golden Sister may not be bad. Or a Serpent in attack. The thing is, is like, zero cost cards and everything, because like with Monastery returning these and replaying them, we, are, we now have like infinite cards and mana to spend. And so... Cards that cost like zero mana are more valuable. Shining softly. Um, yeah, my, I think my punch is kind of playing some cards they own. I think that's the name of the deck, Cards I Own. Which Cards I Own is a good deck. That's always a, a good quality deck, because, you know, it's it's the cards that you own. But it's not like any of these cards are bad, right? Like, every single card they've played is, is a good quality card that they own. All 
Alright, we need to get this level up on Yasuo going. So that's two. I'll just sketch her a sketcher. Go ahead, pieces. What you got? Let's go Traveler. Traveler with Sanctuary? That's that's Chef's Kiss right there. Sanctuary Traveler. That's what it's all about. Rude. Oh, that's Hakaru, because now I don't I don't get to sanctuary anything. Dang. Alright, taking five. Trying to give them more opportunity to spend some mana. Not kill my Yasuo. Alright, so we're at two right now. Three, four. Can you improve perfection? Mind splitter. Death on the blade's edge. Beautiful. Fortunately, as an attacking enemy, I wish I could just like stun my own attacker. <laughs> Counterfeit copies. I think that's MK3. I think they just put a bunch of MK3s in their deck. That's my guess. Let's go. So far, we haven't lost when we've, when we've leveled up Yasuo. We're going to dr drown him out with card advantage. That's the plan. Yep, that was MK3. They're, of course, trying to trying to reduce the power of my sanctuaries. Um, I mean, I guess I could take a great beyond. Sleepy trouble bubble. That's such a fun card to say. Sleepy trouble bubble. Alright, we'll take it. Get a deny out of their hand. That's a good trade. Counterfeit copies. Is that a barrier? No. Nope. We're kind of see showing like why counterfeit copies isn't too good here, right? Because like the two counterfeit copies were basically one mana discard a card. Yeah, so they're gonna have a lot of MK3s, but if they just draw an MK3 every round, 
we can easily take care of that. So it probably makes the most sense to play Great Beyond, but I'm a sucker for buffing up my stuff. I'm gonna play this Cosmic Inspiration. Good, not tonight. Like, they need to be drawing, like, progress days and finding a bunch more MKs. Let's see, now with... Oh, yeah, Traveler, let's go. No, I want to keep playing Invoke cards and recalling them. Now, you know, with that Cosmic Inspiration, now all these Invoke cards, you know, they can't really kill with MKs anymore. And there we go, three and one. Oh, let's, uh... Oh no, super fast aggro. Okay, this is what we lost to last time. This has been our one loss so far. Has been Aurelia Azir. All right, we'll get the prediction started. There you go. All right, so I don't want to keep multiple blade twirlers because you know, like we we need our engine, right? Like they don't really help our engine, but it is a good card. Um, I'll keep one, but I don't want to keep both. Zoe. Dang, lots of Yasuos. So I heard you want a Yasuo. <laughs> Alright, so remember, yeah, we took out Pell Cascade for star shaping. Try to keep up. Try to keep down. Zoe. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Sand and blood. Um, oh, it's on. I'll just take that for now. Probably. Charima, your emperor has returned. Could also be like food for caterpillars. Blade never gets any lighter. Uh, they have the plus three plus one it it dies. I guess I just can't do that. Oh, gosh, why is this deck so hard to beat? Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. This is the one card that I want nerfed in the deck is Inspiring Marshall. I want this to be when I'm summoned now I get plus one plus zero. I want that. That's the that's what I would nerf in this deck. Also make it like a four or five. The four or six is kinda of silly. Five. All right, down to five. Audience. Hmm. You and what army? Hmm. Curious block. Okay. So that's why we're blocking. Okay. Can't stop you. Can't stop, won't stop. Alright, 
mean, you definitely block over here, and then I guess... Well, I guess you block try. as well. You block there. So where are we at? We're at two. That's not very many. Equinox, of course, for this 4-6. Gotta have it. So that gives me nine mana. That does allow me to go Star Shaping plus Concussive Palm. So he's at seven. With Azir's blessings. I am really, really surprised they're attacking with Azir, not gonna lie. Oh, it's on. And they're letting me trade there. I'm very surprised about that. Back heretic. Not gonna lie. Believe or burn. I see every move. Mm. Mm. I guess Living Legends? I don't know if maybe Cosmic Rays question mark? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really want any of these. Uh yeah, they're all just kinda whatever. I guess Living Legends. Wow, alright, we killed his ear. Alright, so we are at eight. Oh man, I needed I needed something that costs like one or two mana that I could play that as number nine and then play Golden Scissors as ten and then it would give lifesteal and elusive to everything. You know, as the level up card. Um but as is I mean I just Guess I just attack here and see what they do. You seek an audience. This is not a good block. Just go to ten. The Emperor's favor upon you. There's no problem being in ten. All right, so three out of five. So that's number nine. Next round, I play Golden Sister. Mmm. That hurts. Next round, I can play Golden Sister and go Lifesteal Elusive on everything. So they don't open attack. But of course, I do have the, the Steel Tempest to help protect. I mean, we're looking... Yeah, we're looking good. My opponent needs like third is ear. Showtime. That with the blade dance. That's not great. Dang. We were looking good. Um Man, this is risky. This is risky. This is going to one. But I can do this. They haven't had the plus three plus one card this whole time. All right, we're at one, we're not dead. Let's get some life steal. Life steal. All right, we got some life steal. Let's go. Uh, just tell her to leave a message. 
I'm busy. We're playing a game. Okay. So we're going to... Block. I mean, we'll just have these things die, I guess. Let me back to eight. I could just walk over here. Also eight. Still eight. Um... You know, I could I could have like the mind splitter stay alive if I want to block like this. Oh, that's probably bad. Negative five bad. I guess Zoe can just block now. Zoe's already done her job. Okay, yeah, let's just do this. Yeah, Zoe's done her job. Alright, so 15, elusive. Power. Oh, yeah, that's lifesteal also. Yasuo has lifesteal. Let's go. Oh, that's really cool. Alright, Sunhawk, stun. No, I was going to stun the Azir. All right, that was redemption right there. See, we, we put in the star shaping. That star shaping was was really important, right? We needed that star shaping just to stay alive for that matchup. So this deck looked really competitive. You know, like we our only loss was to Aurelia Zier, but it was a really close competitive game. And then we beat Aurelia Zier, and again, in a very close competitive game. The second time, you know, we did have the star shaping in our deck, and we needed it that second time to help us just stay alive, right? Because the, the first time we just barely died, right? We couldn't quite stay alive. So that star shaping was key. That was really cool. And then, you know, we got our leveled up Zoe. We got all of our things to have life steal, including infinite mind splitter, which was cool. And then <laughs> infinite mind splitter, round start stun, but then Yasuo with life steal with the stun. That's really cool. But yeah, there we go. Competitive. I think this was a competitive Yasuo deck for sure. This deck felt strong. Um, yeah, I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. You know, no dancing droplet. Uh, if you really want to play Dancing Droplet, you can for like card draw, like instead of like Sleepy Trouble Bubble or something. Honestly, you maybe just don't need Blade Twirler. Maybe you just play Dancing Droplet over Blade Twirler. Blade Twirler just kind of rewards you for doing all your other stuff well, but it's not like not really that necessary. But uh, yeah, this was this was really cool. All right, so there we go. That's Yasuo's Monastery. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Hopefully y'all try this deck out and let me know how it goes because I know a lot of people are looking for uh, good Yasuo decks. Um, this one felt like one of the best Yasuo decks I've played in a long time. <laughs> That's for sure because you have like the late game with all the Targon stuff, but you have good interaction. Like I think that having Steel Tempest and Sleepy Trouble Bubble are honestly important for just having interaction early. So you have like that, you know, like that kind of interaction in there. Um, you know, Zoe does its thing. Zoe's an amazing card. You're gonna have tons of decisions to make, but if you make the right ones, you can uh, you can go far. All right, but that's gonna be it here for Yasuo's Monastery. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.